Hello everyone, I'm Guang Hong Wu. Um, today I'm going to talk about Loring Breakwater Repairman Project. The site is located in the port of Loring, Ohio. It's the south side of the Lake Erring. The one we talk about today is the offshore breakwater located here. The breakwater was originally built in 1981. It was first a floating type breakwater according to US government printing office. Floating type breakwater is just a ties uh, connecting together and anchored on the sea bottom so that they can prevent the wave energy. I look for the historical photo in Google Earth and the oldest one was in 90 uh, was in 880 sorry 1994. Uh, at that time a uh, stone based concrete top uh, breakwater was already being built. Uh, it was damaged in October 2012 due to Storm Sandy and a new storm reinforcement project was finished in 2015. But after that, it was damaged again. So the US Army proposed the repairment project and the Great Lake Duck and Material Company completed this $2.1 million contract. The repairment starts on May and finished in August this year. So there are two parts of this repairment. The first one is to repair the existing cells. There are a total of 12 uh, circular cells being repaired. They check the stone base to see if there's any void and they check the steel piles uh, to see if there's any crack on it. If they do, they just remove, uh, repair them. So all of these uh, remaining cracks was, was repaired and they also install uh, solar powered line across both sides of the entire breakwater. This is the photo uh, showing the steel pile they're using. They are huge compared to the human height you can see on the right side of right photo, right photo here. They hand it up and slide them into position and rivet the panel onto the existing cells, which takes a huge amount of labor. The second part of this project is uh, to build a new uh, cells. As we mentioned before, one cell of the breakwater was failed due to disrepair and removed in 2017. So they built a new one in this year's repair. It was a rectangular one this time which was uh, 51 feet long by 31 feet wide. It was also a stone-based concrete uh, breakwater with the steel shade. You can see on the right-hand side photo, it went perfectly, finished perfectly there. So that's all. Hope you uh, learned some new knowledge and thank you for listening.